Asante sana delegates wa UDA ndugu deputy president madam Rachel ndugu zangu wa siasa na wana siasa wote ambao wako hapa na wale wanatusikiza kutoka kule mwanzo ndugu yangu deputy president nataka niseme hongera Congratulations on your being nominated and elected as the flag bearer of this very vibrant party, UDA. Your team has done a wonderful job. The party members have done a wonderful job. The party members have stood for Kenyans and with Kenyans. Jambo la pili, Madam Rachel, wacha ni kuambie, your husband has spoken well. He has spoken well, he has spoken to our hearts, he has spoken to Kenyans, and he has spoken to all men and women of goodwill in this country. Mimi nataka niseme kwa niaba ya chama cha ANC kwamba tuko na furaha kwa sababu tarehe 23 Januari Mheshimiwa Samoi William Ruto na viongozi chungu nzima wakinagachagwa na wengine kutoka kwa UDA walikuja kwa kongamano la ANC na tulifurai tukajua kwamba hapa sasa tuko na partner ambaye tukishirikiana tushikane mikono tutaenda bali tukashikana pia na ndugu wetu wa Ford Kenya tukasema tutaenda mbele na leo niko na furaha Nazidi kuona tunapanuka. Sisi tumekuja pamoja vile Deputy President alieleza kwa sababu tunataka maisha ya wa Kenya ibadilike. That is the primary objective of coming together. We came together because we want food to be affordable. We came together because we want the Kenyan dignity to be restored because he or she can pay school fees for their children. We came together because we want justice in our country. We do not want justice for the rich and a different justice for the poor. We want equal justice for all. So we are here to say we stand in solidarity with the decision that has been made by the UDA party in putting forward their best foot forward today as their flag bearer for the position of presidency in the Republic of Kenya. Ndugu yangu, Kenya is facing challenges. The economy is one. The deputy president has talked a lot about the shortcomings of governance in this country whether at the judiciary level or other institutions. He has spoken, and he has spoken nothing but the truth. We must send a clear message that we intend as partners, Katika Kenya Kwanza, working hand in hand to make sure resources of this country shall be utilized as they should be utilized in accordance with the Constitution and for the direct benefit of the people of Kenya. The president of Kenya must be there to serve all. 
the deputy president has said the big businessman and industrialist who's creating jobs must be protected. But he has also said, in equal measure, the young and the budding business must also be supported and protected. Who else do you want to work with? Who else do you want to work with? Munataka mfanya kazi na nani? Munataka mfanya kazi na nani? Munataka mfanya kazi na nani? Haya. Sasa nataka tena niwaulize. Kuna wakati the late Kamotho nadhani ama wengine hapa Saitoti akisumbuliwa hapa kasarani. Silikuwa hapa. Hapa hapa. Na wakasema kasarani? 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 Leo tumekuja hapa kuambia tunataka tuoshe hiyo kisirani ili Kenya iwe sawa na sijipate serikali ama kiongozi ambaye atadhulumu wengine kwa sababu yeye yuko kwa mamlaka. We want this message to go out. We want leaders who will show humility and respect for others. And we want leaders who will not betray others. Finally, tuko na agenda kubwa ambayo natuweka pamoja. Kuna agenda ya uchumi, pia kuna agenda ya kisiasi. Kuna mambo mengi sera nyingi. Na katika Kenya kwanza, tukiungana na UDA. Tunataka sera zetu zijumuishwe hatimaye tuwe na manifesto moja ambayo ni ya Kenya kwanza ambayo itakuwa imetuweka sisi sote pamoja na tuende na hiyo na inshallah tarehe 9 mwezi wa 8 mwaka huu serikali itakuwa ya Kenya kwanza na tarehe kumi itaanza kuhudumia wa Kenya vilivyo Nataka pia nidhibitishe kwamba vile deputy president amesema hapa na vile sisi tumesimama we do not want a puppet regime and we do not want puppet leaders. Hatutaki kamwe kuambiwa kwamba tumewekewa kiongozi ambaye mtu anashika remote control akisema pause una pause. Akifinya bright unaweka bright akifinya dark inakuwa dark akisema zima anazima we do not want a remote controlled leader in this country we want a leader who is hands on tunaelewana kabisa sasa ndugu mvuria wewe unazungumza mambo ya Kiswahili kikali umetuchanganya bana Lakini nataka niambie wa Kenya there is something which the deputy president has spoken to which we must free ourselves from there is something they call the stockholm syndrome yes sir nirudie there is something called the Stockholm Syndrome. Kwa kifupi, Stockholm Syndrome ni hile hali unawekwa kwa sababu mutu amekuteka nyara, anakuumiza, anakusumbua, anakutusi, anakuangaisha, lakini wewe badu unaenda na imani kwa mba huyo ambaya meniteka nyara ndi wataniokoa. Tunaelewa kabisa? Mimi naungana na deputy president. Tuondoe wa Kenya kwa tika kwa hiyo hali ya Stockholm Syndrome ya kufikiri kwamba wale ambao wana uwezo, wana mamlaka ambao wamepewa 
wakitufinya wakitusumbua ati hao pia ndio watatuokoa la sisi wenyewe tujiokoe tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane kupitia kwa kura tuambie wa Kenya tumejiokoa Tunaelewana kabisa? Zungusha mkono. Zungusha mkono. Earthquake! 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 Asante sana. Wacha nichukue nafasi hii kabla huyu kiongozi ajageti chini. Nimshukuru